So today, headed out for a little ride. Um, very popular ride around here. I'm gonna run out to uh, Monks. And uh, very popular place to go and a lot of people have beer. They have an absolutely great burger. Um, so, and the ride out there is nice once we get there. Over here to our left is Oceana Naval Air Station. We're here in beautiful Virginia Beach. Yes, sir. I've been here since 1988. The U.S. Navy brought me here. And I've been here pretty much ever since. So. Put the tires and rims on my truck. Really reasonably priced, great people. Local business goes way back. Well, not too far back, but far enough. So here we are a little further down the road. We've left uh, Pungo. With, there's a couple of little, uh, I don't know what if you call them, hamlets or whatever. They're actually uh, small communities, uh, kind of like neighborhoods, inside the city of Virginia Beach. At one time, they were their own little village or township, whatever you want to call. And when the city bought up the county, um, they all became part of the city of Virginia Beach. And now they're more like just rural neighborhoods. Um, if you're from South from the Virginia Beach area, you probably know this road here pretty well if you're a motorcyclist or a bicyclist for that matter. During the summertime, you'll find a lot of bicyclists riding this road. And as uh, we get on into April next month and beyond, it'll turn really pretty out here. In fact, we already have a few of the flowers and trees starting to bloom thanks to some early warm weather. Um, So like I said, this is my first actual uh, moto vlog to this morning. Um, if you like it, do me a favor and uh, put a like on it and subscribe and every couple weeks or so I'm going to try to do someplace different here in uh, southeastern Virginia, northeast North Carolina. Um, I'm going to try to get this off the ground. Coming up on the right is a municipal airport. It's also got a uh, air museum, a lot of uh, old World War II aircraft. You can actually come and visit. Getting ready to head into Back Bay here. This is a little another community out here in the county. As you can see, it's got a fair amount of uh, turns. They're not super switchbacks or anything like that, but they're enough to have a little bit of fun with and enjoy the scenery at the same time. Now, a little bit later, we'll get into some areas that uh, you'll have to start paying more attention to because um, some of this actually goes through... Uh, the real old county out here as you head towards North Carolina and uh, actually through some of the swamp land and some of the times some of these turns can be low lying as you come around in through those turns if you don't know what the weather's been like lately you can actually encounter uh, standing water in the roadway sometimes the road actually pretty much underwater so If you're uh, thinking about Virgi visiting Virginia Beach, it's a great place. There's lots of good riding with day trips and a couple hour trips. You know, you come down here on vacation and uh, kids go to the beach, you know, the wife kids go to the beach, or maybe the husband and the kids go to the beach. And uh, you decide you want to get out for a couple hours and uh, bring the bike with you. There's also a number of places in the area that actually rent motorcycles. So, including the Harley. As I mentioned uh, before, I just recently bought this uh, 1200 GS. Got a really good deal on it, thanks to uh, 
Adventure BMW in Chesapeake. I'd have never thought I could get a BMW for the price they sold it to me for, but part of that's just because it was a uh, <laughs> model year. It was two years old. Brand new, though. Just still on the showroom floor. But it, it just soaks everything up. You know, I love this electronic uh, suspension. Pumps, dips, doesn't matter. Just so smooth riding. And uh, some people go, oh, well, that bike looks awful big and awful tall. Well, I'll, I'll tell you. You know, I, I'm used to my Harleys. I got rid of the Harley back in October. And uh, she just, she's so smooth riding. She's, she's much more of a joy to ride than my Harley was. And my Harleys were effort, effortless. They really were. So... I think it's really saying something, but she'll, the, the GS, she just, she's a big bike, but she doesn't ride like it. She cuts through everything. So, here real shortly, we're going to be coming up on Monks. We're going to take a quick stop there. And I don't know if we're going to stop at Monks and turn around and come back, or maybe we'll go all the way to the Currituck Ferry. It's been pretty great so far we might go all the way down to the ferry either way when we come back we'll be making a right hand turn up here by the uh, old church and cemetery stock landing road and that's going to take us over to Blackwater that's another famous road down here with the motorcyclists especially the cross rockets there's some good turns on on it as you go south we won't be doing those today Although the section we'll be riding is pretty nice. Little old house there, ain't it? Just a mixture up in here. And I'll warn you, on these roads out here, on this route, there's some caution signs for speed and uh, I'll tell you, they're talking to motorcycles just as well as everybody else because they get they get pretty good if you're not ready for them and you're not used to them. So here we are. We're uh, passing from uh, Virginia into North Carolina on our way to Knott's Island. I think we're going to go all the way down to the ferry and we'll turn around down there and we'll come back. But it's a real fun ride, especially on a beautiful day. We're up to a whole balmy uh, 48 degrees out here. It's supposed to be about 55 this afternoon, but as you can see already down here, the further we go south, the more clouds we're seeing. We're actually supposed to have some rain this afternoon and tonight, mainly overnight, moving in from the south. So hopefully we can get this uh, ride in and done before the rain gets here. And here we are, Knott's Island. A little bit bigger community than most of them on this uh, road. Um, so. But it's not bad. It'll take us a, a few minutes to get through this little uh, town. And uh, come out on the far side of the ferry. And I think after the ferry, we might, uh, haven't been there in a few years, might see if we can't uh, find pearls. Uh, speaking of which, if you're down this way and you need gas, I recommend getting it before you start, you, you turn off Princess Anne, or onto Princess Anne. But that's the only gas, well, one of the very few gas stations out there. I don't think that the last little piece actually recorded, so we're going to do it here on the iPhone. I'm going to have to change the battery out on the GoPro. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is uh, Kurtuck Sound. And as you can see, you got the ferry landing there. Uh, that'll be a trip for another day when it's a little bit warmer before we get out on the water. It goes from Knott's Island over onto the mainland of North Carolina in Kurtuck County. So, yeah, but we'll make that run another day. Um, we'll make sure to get it online. 
If you're interested in taking the ferry, make sure you go to ncferry.org. Make sure it's running. Check the times. Depending on the time of the year and the weather, um, it can vary greatly. You could have a couple hour wait if you get show up at the wrong time. So make sure you check online. So I don't know if it caught it before. I uh, used the voice command, so I don't know if the GoPro caught it. But I'm going to try to find pearls down here. I see it's better marked than it used to be. Um, it's another little stop down here. This one's actually on Knott's Island. Uh, you actually have to get off Princess Anne for a second to uh, find it, but and I know somewhere down here, if I remember right, it's a left-hand turn. We'll see if it's marked. We're going to see how friendly this dog is. Oh, good. He don't want to give chase. You just never know. It's been quite a few years since I've been to to uh, Pearls, so see if we can't find it down here. I do remember at the time I was on a Harley and uh, the long gravel drive in there on the Harley uh, that was a little interesting. It wasn't too bad. Um, oh, I think more Harley riders go there than anybody else. Interesting enough. You'd think maybe they'd pave it. Hmm. Looks like we're just about back to the water and I haven't seen the the drive for pearls. Oh, there it is. So I guess you make that turn and just come all the way down to the water. Parking for the boat ramp. And look at that. Pearl, sure enough, it's still a gravel road. Well, it does look like they've graded it since I was down here last. That's a good thing. Well, there's some nice sized potholes. Of course, you got some loose gravel. As you can see, pretty much though, uh, a big GS, even with the potholes and everything else, she just soaks it right on up. If I remember right, I had seafood down here. It's pretty good. But it's been close to 10 years, probably 10 years since I've been down here. If I remember right, uh, if you're looking for a mixed drink there, you might be out of luck. Um, they only served beer at the time. Beer, soda, and of course their... Uh, their local menu was pretty good. You know, I'm big into these dives a lot of times. You look from the outside and go, oh, that ain't no nothing. That ain't going to be that great. A lot of times, you know, especially down here, you get out in the country, a lot of these little dives, they are really good. So, here in a minute, we'll be back up on Princess Anne and uh, headed. That's where we came in at. You can go either way though, there's uh, two main roads here in Knott's Island and they pretty much just circle the city or the little town and one's about as fast as the other although I will say this, every time I've gone this way that last curve to the left is a little bit tightened every time I've come down here there's been sand in that curve so just gotta watch, watch your surroundings this is coastal country roads and you can find water, sand, dirt, gravel just about anywhere even though you're on the hard top. I saw it coming in here, I've seen it a few times every time I come down here, that somewhere along this back road there's supposed to be a winery. Never been, don't actually know where it's at. I guess if you're into wineries you could uh, research it and find it and maybe make a day trip down here for that another stop on your ride just someplace else to go uh, look at the local wildlife look at the deer big old white tails out here looking for a little bit of breakfast slash lunch she getting right on down the road ain't he there he goes he almost made it across there um Either way, like I was saying, you can take either road around Knott's Island. 
both ways will put you right back on the Princess Anne Road. Although I'm not sure it's called Princess Anne once you come into uh, North Carolina, but it's that same road. So we're uh, getting ready to leave Lenotz Island here in just a couple of seconds. One of the things I didn't mention, if you're a shutter bug or a nature lover, um, down here as you come into Knott's Island, and on Knott's Island itself, is, uh, I believe it's, what is it, McKay uh, Wildlife Preserve, primarily a bird sanctuary, but, you know, they protect all the animals. And uh, there's some walking trails and stuff down here. There's some great photo opportunities especially during the season when all the birds are in town. Um, I'm a bit of a shutter bug myself, but I'm not a, I don't go after the birds, so I'm sure those of you who uh, like to watch the birds would actually know where to look to find out when and where the best times to uh, wildlife them. And it's Mac K, M-A-C-K-A-Y. Where we are, this is basically through the swamp land, a little causeway again. Same one we came in on earlier. Great views though. Just a different look at it from, from the same road going the opposite direction. A uh, lot of fishing out this way. GoPro, start recording. So here we are. We're about to leave North Carolina, come back into Virginia. Just a few years ago, they put this uh, sand slash gravel, whatever it is down here. So now we got all them, them dump trucks coming in here. Be a little bit of pain sometimes. Um, everybody wants to come out here on Saturday and uh, these guys want to make some money on Saturday too. I'm sure they got their toys to support. I can feel them, you know. I hate working on Saturday too. So we're back in Virginia now. And we're coming up on the North Landing uh, campground again. Like I said, it's a beautiful little campground. Me and the wife love staying there. We just really discovered it this last year about three years ago um, they totally renovated under new ownership if you'd stayed there before then you would have remembered that uh, it wasn't all that great of a place but uh, they were up recording so we're coming to the end of Blackwater here just a second we're gonna make a right on Fentress Airfield Road um, it's named after the uh, old Naval Air uh, facility, Fentress Airfield. 
It's still used as a uh, remote landing site, but it's not what it was in its heyday like World War II. Trained a lot of pilots here. We're going to make a right on Mount Pleasant. One of these other days we'll make a left. That's also a good way to go, but we're going to cut her a little short today. We're going to start heading back towards the uh, courthouse area of Virginia Beach, back into towards civilization. Um, it'll take us a little bit to get there, but so far on this little trip today, I've gone about 65 miles. Um, starting from the house, not from where uh, we picked y'all up at. But it's been a good little trip. It still takes a couple hours and uh, pretty scenery. Like I said, if you come down here and you, you're visiting the beach and you bring the motorcycle and you want to send the wife and the kids or the husband and the kids off to the beach and uh, take a trip, a little day trip, a couple hour trip, and meet them for dinner or something, great little ride. There's a few others that we'll go over in the next few weeks. Hopefully I'll get them in before the summertime. Of course, I got a job I got to work too, just like the rest of y'all, so get these in when I can. And We're going from Chesapeake now back into Virginia Beach. All these back roads back here, you'll dodge between the the two cities and the two states, and you, you won't even know where one ends and one begins because there's no sign a lot of times. But from the rest way in all the way back in here, it's going to be the city of Virginia Beach. Doesn't look here. We are at Princess Anne again. This is where we made our left as we started our journey this morning. Um, like I said, there's quite a few roads. We were on Princess Anne back there. If you stayed straight, it becomes General Booth headed towards the ocean front. So, and we're getting back into the burbs of the city, back onto the two lane roads, more traffic. So, a lot of this stuff out in this area is actually fairly new. When I came here in the 80s, uh, the burbs hadn't made it out here. There were a few small developments, almost little communities inside the city, but um, it wasn't like it is now. Recording. So for those of you who have been down here before, there's a corner of Oceana and uh, General Booth. It's where Bone Shakers used to be. Those of you who come down here on motorcycles probably knew about it. It's gone now. Um, and for those of you who are RVers and want to bring the family in the RV along with the motorcycle or whatever it is you got, we have the KOA right here on the right hand side and coming up on the left, we're going to have another campground. Oh shoot. Uh, and that's where uh, the Beach Bike Classic or Virginia Beach Bike Week used to be. And they still do a little something there, but uh, it's more exclusive now. You pretty much uh, have to have a campsite there for the night, or you have to uh, pay an admission fee to bring your motorcycle in. But it's a great campground. Me and the wife like to stay at it when we uh, staycation and camp in town. Holiday Travel Park. Well, I forgot that today is St. Patrick's Day. And we will not be able to uh, get down into the ocean front. Because they got all those roads closed for the uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day Marathon and Half Marathon. So we're just going to go ahead and... Uh, Make a left here, and we're going to head to the house and have ourselves some lunch. So this is probably going to be the last uh, clip for this morning, and uh, hope you enjoyed yourself. I'll try to get better at this. This is my first one. And uh, hopefully you'll uh, like it and subscribe, and we'll see you again. It's been Mike, and it's been fun.